John F. Kennedy Airport in Ashland, Wisconsin, just by the bay. They have great fuel here. It's very blue and it tastes good. And now Bruce is filled up with it. And we're gonna go on the FBO and just check it out and maybe get some water before we head out to Oshkosh. So that's what you call the Skyreach Bush Cat. It is made, it's a southern, uh, South African manufacturer. Okay. And the U.S. distributor for the airplane is here at Wonder Lake, Illinois at Galt Airport. Okay. And a company called Aerosport and they build them there. And you can get them as a factory SLSA, factory built or you can buy it as a kit and do it yourself. Beautiful. Yeah. Inside we got Butcher Head. Wow. <laughs> got a lot of avionics. It's a very affordable plane. Mm -hmm. It's not, it doesn't kill you. <laughs> We're working people. Yeah. 100 horsepower, 912 ULS Rotex. Okay. Power is it? And what's the crew? Is it like 105? <clears throat> no, not, not quite that. Um, I would say about 90 miles an hour is a pretty safe cruise. It's like a little sports car for the sky. Sure. <laughs> it looks comfortable as hell. Oh, it's very. But lots of room. 10 more inches than a 172. We don't rub shoulders. 10 more inches than a 172. Mm -hmm. that, I, 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 actually, it looks wide. Yeah. yeah. So you got the stick in the middle and the throttles on both sides. Okay. Mm hmm And we have Canardia panels. Canardia is a great company. Love the dogs. Would not want that they're here in my <laughs> Bruce and Bear are in the dog. Those were cute little doggies. And the occasional flamingo feathers. A plane went away. JFK traffic, Bush gets over to Tango, taxiing to 3 1, JFK. Alright, you're locked up. No, you don't. Door locked. There you go. Much better. <laughs> Anybody? No, nope. see the sock. Yep, I see the sock. You always say that. See the sock? I go, yep, I see the sock. JFK traffic, Bush Cat 7 Sierra Tango, back taxiing, 3 1, JFK. I was mowing the grass. Nice guy. Yep. Next, we want to come back here. Yep. You got a crew car. Rental car option if we wanted. And they got ferry uh, tours of the Apostle Islands. So, since we're not going to be looking at the Apostle Islands today up by air, maybe we'll do it by ship next time we come. Sounds like a plan. It's a future destination for Bush Cat Tom. At temperature, we're ready to go. Dear Lord, thank you for our great little mini vacation. Yep. Keep us safe oh. as we fly. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I think our angels worked overtime one. JFK traffic, let's get down here. Tango departing 3 1 JFK to the south. Up from Penoy. Go.
If he's alive? Nope, he's not alive yet. <laughs> now it's alive. Oh, a little jump in the gun there. All right. That's the job you need. Run an airport. You'd have a blast. Yep. I'm going to keep the flaps in for a little bit longer. Okay. I want to be able to climb a little bit uh, faster, more, more aggressively here. With full fuel like this, we're not climbing as much as I want. Yeah, I know. Now we're good. Ah, uh, the thermals will give us some lift here. Oh, we got nice cumulus clothes. Is, is this a lot better than, than, than yesterday? Yeah. <laughs> I can handle this. This is like home. Yeah, typical summer day. Oshkosh Tower, Light Sport 687 Sierra Tango, 8 miles to the northwest, 2700 inbound for landing with X ray. November 687 Sierra Tango, Oshkosh Tower. Continue inbound, maintain honor above 1,800 until established on final for runway 36 and uh, report a midfield left downwind on runway 36. Report a left downwind midfield for 36, uh, maintain 1,800 and 7 Sierra Tango. Clear for takeoff, make a right downwind departure to the south. The wind is 320 on 11, gust 20. Clear for takeoff, 36, make a right downwind departure uh, for the south. 85 Papa. Cap 4823, you can make a 180 on the runway and then turn right on runway 5, contact ground. Tango, uh, Pioneer Airport is active, maintain enter above 1,800, and I'll let you know when you can start your descent. Okay, above 1,800, and uh, I'll wait for you. Up here, Tango. 2153, turn left at Papa 1, left turn at Papa 1, with no delay on the runway, and contact ground. We'll keep it booming down the runway, turn left at Papa 1, we're getting 21. November 7th, Sierra Tango. Descent now, your discretion. Runway 36, you're clear to land. The wind is 32013, gust 20. Clear to land, 367, Sierra Tango. North side 13, Cap 4821. 
So this is what we're going to try to do. We're going to try to get a room at the Hilton, which is just down the road. But if they don't have it, then we're just going to get some dinner and then fly home and call it a day. But I don't want to. I don't want to do that. I want to. I want to. I want to go to the hotel. I want to. I want to extend the the magic. All right. So let's see what happens. Wonderful. Okay, we will see you while well, we're gonna get some dinner first. So probably be in about maybe an hour or, or two. Thank you very much. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> we are in last room. The last room. She goes. Oh, I don't know. I think I don't. I think we're booked. Let me see. Oh, uh, oh, we've got one. All right, so the first thing we got to do is get some swimwear because our hotel has a pool and we weren't expecting to do this, but uh, what a nice surprise. So we got to get some swim clothes. Isn't this interesting? Isn't it interesting that we have to get swimwear. Tom and Sharon's purchase of swimwear has been deemed much too interesting for casual viewers of this channel. In its place, we will now show something less interesting, but still entertaining. <laughs> Alright, so here we are at the mine shaft. I guess they have really, really good food and Right now, I'm pretty impressed with how big it is. Look at this thing. Tom and Sharon's dinner was not filmed, but we do offer you now this reenactment. Do me a favor and don't order any cheese curds this time. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm having some cheese curds. Have you seen that belly of yours lately? You keep this up and I'm going to have to roll you out of here. May I take your Whoa. orders, please? Garcon! <sighs> please stop calling me that. That's not my name. Oh, sure it is. You're a chef, right? Yeah, but that doesn't mean that we're all named Garcon. You can't just put us all in one box, you know. Yeah, okay. What would you like to be called? Look, why don't I just let you know what the specials are today? Yeah, you can do that. After you tell me your name. Look, that's not important right now. So why don't you just try our new lamb flambe? Oh, no, no, no. What's your name? <sighs> Promise you won't laugh? Well, I was kind of looking forward to that. Well, then forget it. Tom, would you just let it go? If he's not going to say his name, he's not going to say his name. 
Thank you, miss. You're welcome. All right. Now, we have a very nice lamb flambe, and why are you looking at me like that? Come on now. Say it. What? My name? No, I'm not going to do that. Oh. What are you? Chicken? Oh, look who's talking. I'm not the one with the beak and the feathers. Well, there's no way I'm going to let this go now. I think we just stumbled onto some real comedy here. I can't take him anywhere. Tell you what, you give me your name and I'll give you five dollars. Oh, can you say cheapskate? All right, ten. Make it twenty. Done. All right. My name is Souffle. You're kidding, right? No. Oh man, you must have had a ball in grade school, huh? Actually, that was a very traumatic time in my life, and I'll thank you never to bring that up again. Souffle? What parent names their kid Souffle? The same parents whose last name is a la mode. So you're Souffle a la mode. <laughs> oh, that's priceless. All right, all right. You had your fun. I'm so happy to amuse you. Now, can we get on with ordering the food, please? <laughs> well, well, that's a no-brainer. I'll have the souffle. Oh, Tom, stop it. I'm sorry, Mr. Mode. My husband doesn't know when to quit sometimes. Oh, that's quite all right. I'm pretty used to being made fun of by stupid, wisecracking punk flamingos. It's okay, because we all know that stupid, wisecracking punk flamingos don't have enough intelligence to know when they've gone too far with their idiot jokes and condescending remarks. Oh, I'm sorry. And here I was thinking that you don't know what condescending means. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very funny. Why don't you come over here and say that? No, you come over here and I'll explain it to you. You don't need to explain anything. I'll let my fist explain it to you. Oh, so you've got a talking fist, huh? Come over here and find out. No, you come over here and I'll let my fist do the talking. You don't even have a fist, you idiot. Hey. Nobody calls me an idiot. Only an idiot tells people not to call him an idiot. Well, then you must be the biggest idiot on the planet, because your name isn't idiot. What? You heard me. Yeah, but that didn't make any sense. Said the idiot. Uh, excuse me, where's the powder room? Uh, it's, it's just down the hall to your left. Thanks. Isn't she a peach? Yeah, she's a peach. So, are you going to hit me or what? Now just hold on. I gotta limber up first. If I throw a punch before stretching, it'll send me right to the hospital. Yeah, you don't want to aggravate those nerves. I know, my back goes out on me all the time. Yeah, me too. Usually in the morning if I get out of bed too fast. Or when you let the cat out in the morning and you take that awkward step off the porch, whew! puts me in the lazy boy for the rest of the day. Yeah, I hear ya. You ever try that icy hot cream? It works really good. Yeah, I I don't like the smell. Ah, they got a no scent formula now. You should try it. Maybe I will. You can get it over at Walgreens for 10 bucks. Yeah, I'll stop by on the way home. Thanks for telling me. Yeah, don't mention it. Okay, so you ready to go? Yep, let's do this. You know, I should have just stayed home. All right, no pulling the hair. Fine. Let go of my foot. Ow. Want some more? Ow. Suppose you could get me something to drink, huh? Mm-mm. 